Well, I think every every trainer and every jockey wants to try and win a derby. It is, you know, it's a, a race, a history race. You know, if you can say one day you've won a derby, you know, it, it's uh, one of the great races on the calendar, if not the greatest. So, uh, you know, it's every every jockey's and every trainer's dream to try and win a derby. Sees in front of Seascay and Popsy. Chardonnay flat wide, Popsy going to on the outside. Popsy, Popsy run it. Uh, she was the only filly in it that year and I think she jumped from the outside gate and she came from last on the corner and got up and won. So that was probably more exciting than the other horse I rode, which was Surface Paradise, where he was going into it. I think he was actually favorite for the race and the expectations were high and uh, fortunately he was able to win it. When you're a jockey, um, you know, you try and get, get on the best possible chance you have to win the race, but uh, you get on the horse and you get off it, you give it back to the trainer, so it's not really your concern, but uh, there's no doubt it's far more difficult training. Well, I suppose the big difference is when you're training a horse for the derby, you, you know, you've got a long association with the horse. We actually purchased him from a yearling and, uh, you know, watched him get to the stage. So you've been with the horse for quite some time. But I think it, you know, it lifts, you know, the excitement of the whole stable when you've got a horse running in a race like the Derby. Um, you know, it means a big thing, you know, just to have a horse competing in a big race, especially one that is going to go in there with a show. Every jockey's and every trainer's dream to try and win a race like the Derby.